fortress system on the waterline, defence line of Amsterdam. Amsterdam has been the Netherlands' development hub since independence from Spain in the 16th century. The more than 150 canals built extensively inside and around the city have played a vital role in its own development. In an area of pasture land some 15 kilometers from the center of Amsterdam is a uniquely shaped fortress. It's Fort Spijkerboer, which was completed in 1913. At that time, the Netherlands was under constant threat of invasion from Germany. The most advanced artillery pieces of the day were installed deep inside the fortress. The cannons can be rotated 360 degrees. Their firing range was between two and three kilometers. For defense during long battles, the fort was equipped with barracks and ammunition bunkers. More than 300 soldiers lived here. The water in the washbowl could be discharged instantly. Forts were built at three to four kilometer intervals depending on the range of their cannons. They were built close together so that they completely surrounded the city of Amsterdam. In 1920, all 45 forts were completed. The Dutch army had also devised an impressive strategy. They'd engineered a way to flood the outer area of the defense line. By opening canal locks, water would be released and then flood the surrounding area within three days. The water had to be deep enough to prevent both soldiers and horses from advancing, but also had to be shallow enough to stop ships approaching. The timing for opening the locks was a well-guarded secret. To prevent attack from the sea, the Netherlands even built a floating fort. This is Fort Pampas, an artificial island fort which took seven years to build. During World War II, the two main artillery batteries on Fort Pampas were destroyed by German airstrikes. The entire defence system was built to counter both land and air attack. However, when aerial weapons came into use, this defensive system was robbed of its military importance. <laughs> 